All right, morning. You know that trend on TikTok where, I don't have to explain it, but come with me. May I ask you to do a yoga thing I saw on TikTok? What is that? Facial relaxation. Okay, ready? Close your eyes, relax. Well, it's supposed to relax your, all your face muscles. First of all, you have to put your tongue on top of where, you know, what do you call that? Your mouth. Your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And Squint with your eyebrows raised. Now bite your lip. Here we come. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <a> your. <laughs> oh. So I wanted to talk a bit about what I've spoke a little bit about in my previous videos, which is this: what I'm wearing. You guys probably saw it on my Instagram. Just want to talk to you a bit about the process of how it all came to be because I think some of you will find it interesting whether you're starting a clothing brand or want to start one. So one of the things with my brand that I had in my head from the start was to make it a brand as opposed to YouTuber merch, which there's nothing wrong with YouTuber merch. I think if that's what you your audience caters to, that's smart. But for me, someone who loves streetwear, fashion, things like that, I knew in my head I wanted to do, take it a bit more seriously and have more creative room, I guess. So I really took my time with this and even the hats. I've always wanted new eras, so I never settled for anything less. It took so long to get them done, but I got them done. And I'm working on another new era, by the way. That won't be ready for a bit. These things take time. I've learned like lots of time. Yeah, I wanted to start my own brand and sort of separate it from my YouTube personality and not have people just see it as, oh, it's this YouTuber's merch, blah, blah, blah. But what I want to show you guys is this hoodie. So I'll talk a bit about the process of making this. Six months ago, I pretty much had my first meeting. I was so not ready because I'd never made cut and sew project before, really, or anything with clothes. All these different fabrics had to choose uh, all these different lab dyes. So in the end, I ended up looking through a bunch of different like sample little patch swatches, they're called, of uh, black like dyes like this. And to pick one and then I had to do a bunch of different brown ones and pick one. The weeks end up piling up with how long it takes. Like, oh, the, the sample will be ready next week, blah, blah, blah. So then you guys seen I've worn samples in my other videos, uh, logo changes, things like that. So that's why it takes so long. Final product I'm really happy with. I honestly think it's an amazing hoodie. I ended up going with a 16 ounce, as you can see. It is a French Terry uh, 16 ounce cotton. So it is a really heavy hoodie. I'm wearing an XL right now. Um, yeah, like the ribbon I had to decide on from these different manufacturers. I ended up going with one from Switzerland. It's like a black coffee, the ribbon. My logo that I ended up making myself, which I'm kind of proud of. Yeah, the hoodie cut itself, which wasn't the hardest part because I knew what I liked, but yeah. These are gonna be coming out when my next video comes out. So March 21st, Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern. What I'm wearing right now, I probably wouldn't wear with them. Got the Baby Yoda pajamas. Sid has a sweater as well, so we might style them right now to show you guys. And yeah, make sure you, if you want one, make sure you're on the site at that time because I still get messages today about people asking if I have any leftover hats, which unfortunately I do not. So whatever's on the site at the time is whatever I have for, for a while. Also, I'll probably put up a little surprise on the site as well. You guys can probably guess what it is. So yeah, March 21st, Sunday at six. If you get a hoodie and you get it in the mail, Message me what you think about the quality because I can't see you guys not liking it. I'm not trying to like push a sale onto you or whatever, but I just think it's super heavy, nice, like relaxed fit, and I love it. Uh, I'll continue on with the video. Wanna go for a walk? Oh! So this is male sizing, guys, so the hoodie is a bit oversized, yeah. Sid's pretty tall too, she's like 5'9". I, I wear XL, I'll show you guys, but I could probably fit a large too if I wanted to run it like normal sizing because I'm 6'4 and I wear XL. I like how it looks from behind a lot. I didn't want to wear the same outfit on the street as her. I cringy, so I just wore It's cute. The Supreme Windbreaker. Carhartt camo pants, old Playboy hat. Some Prestos. All right, so the reason you probably clicked on this video is to see my updated closet tour. Now, usually when I've been vlogging, you guys have seen what I bought because I, I vlog it, but I just want to show people, for those who haven't seen, I'll show like the things that people really want to see that I showed my first ever video, but also show you my new favorite stuff that I got. A lot of my stuff is also in my old room of my parents that I don't really wear, but this is my stuff. I never really showed the layout. My hoodies here, Sid organized this all for me. Mm -hmm. Color coded. <laughs> coordinated. Have like my pants that I like a lot hanging here. Pants that are susceptible to wrinkles. Some of this stuff is Levi's too, but I have these like sort of jackets here. Levi wears a lot of dress shirts, so these are all Levi's. Underwear, I have a ton of pants, so these- cargo. These are, yeah, my cargoes, I guess. 
These are also like cargos. Um, these are like my sweatpants and baby Yodas. <laughs> These are extra shirts. I don't have space for on the rock. You have so many clothes. These are all my shorts. And these are all like more workout stuff. And these are all my hats. Some of these are Levi's, but a couple of my favorites, of course. How come you have two? First sample. Oh. This is like the first sample I ever got where they made the M2 big. Cause oh, you guys yeah. can see I sized it down. Maybe I could give this away to someone. This is a legendary hat for my vlogs. Like how dirty it is. This is my quarantine hat. I wore it literally every day. It probably smells terrible. Yeah, we should. This is a sandwich shop in uh, LA. This is a Kill the Hype hat. People always ask me what hat this is. I wear it a lot. It's a hat I bought in Madrid. It's a, like a vintage Disney hat. It's kind of cool. Euro Disney. This is Levi's. I used to have one. I think someone stole it or I lost it. But it's a Don C snapback. These used to be like super hyped. Like Jay-Z and Kanye wearing them. Snake python skin. It's kind of douchey, but I feel like these will eventually be coveted in the years to come. Oh my god, I wasn't recording. <laughs> uh, I also have some shoes that I'll show you my shoes downstairs, but these are some gray dunks They're really old, so they're really not comfortable. So I don't wear them that often, but I like them These are Kai's blazers. He just gave them to me, I guess because he left them here I'm gonna show you my favorite shirt that I bought recently it's This old 50 cent one. I got it for like a decent price from considering what it is I just think the distressing on the neck is nice and nicely worn in There's a lot of holes kind of but I don't know I still like it unit shirt. I don't even know if this is like official tour merch or whatever, but it's still cool. This is also a shirt that you guys see I wear a lot. It's old Stussy shirt. This is my other brother's clothing line that he just gave us, so I'm wearing the sweats right now. It's shirt, but it's really comfy. I think there's some still available if you want to check his website out. What else have you guys not seen? This is a vintage crew neck. It's sort of like a cropped fit. A thin red line. Uh, it's a movie. I don't even know. I just like the color and the fit, so I got it. This is one of my favorite hoodies. If you want just like a nice basic hoodie, they sell this in black as well. The swoosh is sparkly. The Olivia Kim collab. Right, Olivia Kim? Mm-hmm. And it's probably one of my favorite fitting hoodies. And? And Sid got it for me. <laughs> oh, this is Levi's. This is something people like, maybe. It's a bit loud for me, but... This is also Levi's that he left here. I'm just showing it so you can see the similarities between this. So if you don't know the story about this, Supreme made these, I think. Look at how old like the tag is and stuff. I think it's like in the 90s. And they got a cease and desist from Patagonia. So you can see the skyline there has the two twin towers. Because it's before 9-11. That's kind of crazy. It's not an official collab, but Supreme Patagonia stuff. I showed this before, but so many people asked me about it. This is uh, Dree's jacket, infamous jacket. It's the blue one. Insanely heavy and it's insanely warm. Super hard to find now. I always get messages on Grailed about like selling. separate items and I'll be like, is Jet selling that Dree's bomber? Always. These aren't folded right because I just sloppily put them back on. Yeah, this on. wasn't me. This is him. These are Capital Jeans. People like them a lot. I see all these other streetwear brands ripping these jeans off now. It's kind of crazy they like copy them exactly. I wear these pants a lot and people always ask me what they are because they can't tell. These are leaks, but they're like cargos. Wore them on one of our first dates. This is a uh, like shirt that ASAP Rocky had at his, I think it was a concert. This shirt is three brands collabing, Og, Off-White, and Midnight Studios. I probably would sell it actually. I might sell it because I never really wear it. People like it a lot. This looks familiar, obviously. This is a Supreme. It wasn't official at the time before the real collab. I think they got a cease and desist from them probably. See, it's like the monogram print. People really like this because this is before the real collab. Looks like yeah. those purses you see like on the side of the street, like the print has like dollar signs on it instead of the Louis. What do you call it? L, LV. This is my friend Justin's shirt. Sid's little sister <laughs> got me this as a gift. This is jacket my mom made, who has her own line with my friend Nitz. You guys probably know BGN. She put this on, this on. It's a vintage jacket, but she customized it for me. All right, I think I'll just go downstairs, show you some of the sneakers I have, and I'll pretty much do it. So this is where our jackets are. This is a, my winter jacket. It's a ready-made jacket. I showed it before, but people like it a lot, so check it out. It's made from like old U.S. military stuff, so you can see. This is Kai's, but I think I might keep it because I like it. It's reversible, so so you can wear it like this, or you can wear it like this. If you want it more chill. These are purple pigeons. Kind of dirty, but I like them. These are like my everyday shoes right now. The Stussy Spiridons. These are super beat off-white from Chicago's. Considering what I paid for them, I, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to like wear them because they're already so beat. I wore these to like the club when like they first came out and like people would step on them and everything. So dumb. And these are actually my grails, believe it or not. <laughs> no. I got these for the airport. Next time I go to the airport, I'm wearing these. 
because if you guys were a kid and you ever wore Heelys in the airport, so fun. These are cool grills and a swoosh. You can switch them out. If you don't know, I grew up playing tennis, so I like buying like rare tennis shoes. These are old, really old Nadal, 2009 French Open. These, I usually my I usually wear those. These two are like probably like what I wear the most. Got some hats here. I got a big care package from this guy. This brand's pretty cool. You can check it out. It does like these skeleton embroideries. So thank you for sending that. Behind you'll see the wall of mute. I'm a one man team, but I still ship everything out after the first one. One man? One man, one woman. Here's my alien creature. <laughs> and this is where the magic happens. Okay, it's not a house tour, but you guys get the gist. <laughs> Hope you guys like my closet tour. If you liked the video, please subscribe. I have a video I think you guys will like a lot next Sunday. Basically what I eat in a week. And when I mean what I eat in a week, what my dad makes in a week. You'll see that next week. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed. My girlfriend who's holding the camera has a channel. If you made it to the end, I know you're a loyal subscriber. So that's what I want the most to know. Sid started her own channel. Hi guys, so like Jet said, I actually started my own channel. I only have one video up so far, which is basically just me styling myself for spring. But I'm definitely going to aim to post at least once a week. And I think my channel will be centered around content like fashion content and basically lifestyle content because that's what I see myself having the most fun producing. So if you want to check it out, I think Jet will have it linked down below and yeah. Any last words? DM me on Instagram if you have any gold star Pokemon for sale. Okay.